Okay, so now we're going to do some calculation of equivalent um, resistances. So when you have resistances in series, um, you add these, um, you would add the resistances. So the effective resistance of the, um, of the circuit element on the left is just the sum of these resistances. And when you have resistance resistors in parallel, um, this is a little bit more complicated and the math gets a little bit uh, uglier. Um, you add their inverses. So one over the effective resistance of this element is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3 plus one over R4. And this is similar, we, we did capacitors um, a little while ago, so this is the same way that you add capacitors um, in series. So when they're resistors, resistors in series are additive, capacitors in parallel are additive. Resistors in parallel, you add the inverses, capacitors in series, you add the inverses. So the two rules are switched. Okay, so here what you can do when you simplify circuits is that you um, you can basically replace these three circuit elements by this one circuit element. And um, when you do that, um, you can redraw the circuit and you can um, then use Ohm's law typically to figure out what the um, what the current is in that circuit. Okay, so this is a simple series with circuit with five resistors. Um, four of them have 20 ohms and one of them has 10 ohms. So the sum of those resistances is 90 ohms. So I can draw the equivalent circuit like this as a 90 ohm resistor um, and a nine volt battery. And then I can use Ohm's law to calculate what the current through the circuit is. Um, so here I can do the same thing, except that now um, the resistance in parallel, uh, the, this effective resistance is one over the inverse of one over R1 plus one over R2. And I can redraw my circuit, and um, and it makes it easier to to analyze. When I'm doing this, if I have a more complicated circuit, and sometimes even if I have a simple one, I like to completely redraw the circuit as is shown here, because it makes it harder to get confused about what you're actually doing. Um, and here you can show see schematically um, what you're trying to do. So you start with um, you start with the, a, an ugly circuit that has many different elements. And what you're going to do is that you're going to iteratively add the elements that you can. So here, these two resistors are in series and you can, um, so you can add them and, um, replace, uh, replace them by one effective resistance. Um, oh. So that is, um, then you redraw your circuit, which is what you see here. And now you can do something similar, except that we're going to combine these two circuits into this element. Um, and that gives you that circuit. Well, now we have, uh, in step D, we have a simple circuit that only has two resistors in series. So I can combine these two resistors and get that. Um, and that becomes a circuit that's much easier to, to analyze. I know how to do that. Um, so here, if we do this example, um, and I'm not going to, I'm not gonna work out all of them. Um, so here we would um, say one over, we're gonna replace these two by one resistance with an effective resistance 
of 1 over 6 plus 1 over 13 and the inverse of that. Um, now I, I know that the resistance, um, so I get an effective resistance for that. Um, I can reduce my circuit all the way back to like I did here to one simple resistor and a, volt, uh, a voltage, and I can use that to calculate the current. And then if I have to figure out what to do here, the current is going to be constant um, here and here. Um, and I can figure out how much, um, because I will calculate the current and then the um, the voltage across element one is going to be R1 times that current. So I can tell how much current I've lost there. And the voltage across um, V3 is going to be my R effective times um, the current going through the entire circuit. And now I know the voltage, and if I if I get that far, I know the voltage across element two and three, um, and I know their resistances, so I can calculate the current going through them because the current is going to be the voltage divided by the resistance. So then you can figure out how much current goes through the six ohm resistor and how much goes through the 13 ohm resistor. Okay, so then you can ask the question, why do lights dim when a large appliance is switched on? Um, the, the, the reason is that you are, um, are drawing um, a significant current, so there's a large current drop in the wires, so you get, so you reduce the voltage across the light. And that's one of the problems that you guys had to do for homework. Um, and here, um, if you know, here this is working the problems that we had backwards. Um, so you have the voltage unknown, um, but you can, but you know the current. Um, so here, if we set it up so you would find the unknown resistance, um, this effective resistance is 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 and the inverse of that. So it is 2 over 10 or um, 1 over 5, and it's the inverse of, of 1 over 5. So the effective resistance here is 5 ohms for those two circuit elements. And then I have um, three circuit elements in series. Um, one, two, three. Um, so I can add up their resistances. So their resistances are 25 ohms. And I have V equals IR. So V equals 25 ohms times 2 amps which is equal to 50 volts. Okay. 